after Christmas when you're watching this because I filmed it the day after. It's a uh, your boy. So starting off with what my brother got me, I got pink Puma workout shirt, but it's the wrong size. It's too big for me, but it's for the gym, so I don't really care. He also got me these really cute leggings, but there's a button. On the pants, there's the sheer cut in between. It starts like mid-thigh and goes all the way down. Could you see it? The next thing I got was this Victor Rolf flower bomb set and this really cute packaging. You know where this is gonna go, right? Only problem is, this wasn't my gift. The perfume and all that, no, 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 no. That wasn't for me. The box is what's fine. As you may know, I have my little wall shrine of like bags. This is going to add to the collective. Thanks, Santa. You know what's next. These are from Shoe Shop. You know I love you some shoes, okay? I don't know if you're getting the color from this. It's like a dark navy blue, and it's velvet all throughout the shoe. It's very simple, but still extremely gorgeous. I'm serious. I've always wanted a shoe like this. I think I'm going crap. From Marvin, I got a couple of things. It's an olive purse with gold plated details. It comes with this little fluff ball, which I'm not too fond of, like usually, but it works for this bag. So I usually don't like my purses this big. My laptop doesn't fit in any of my purses, but now, ooh. I've wanted to get my belly button pierced a couple of times throughout my life. The first time I wanted to get it done, I was like 16 and my cousins were down and my brother and them, we all went to South Beach and we were just hanging out. I want to see my belly button pierced, so why not? We went all the way to the parlor to get it done and daddy wasn't there to give me no money and I didn't have a job, so I just figured Everybody was hyping me up about it. I thought one of them was gonna pay for it. After they left, I still wanted to get it done. I was supposed to get it done, my mom was gonna take me, but we were going to Jamaica the following month. Apparently you're not supposed to go into like salt water or chlorine or anything to like two, three months after you got your belly button pierced, which is kind of ridiculous. She was like, okay, well let's just go to Jamaica, and then when we come back, you get your belly button pierced. When we came back, it was time for me to get it pierced, and for some reason we didn't go, and that was kind of just the end of it. I told Martin that story. My second Christmas gift. Can you see it? No? Let me give you a better look. My belly button is not pierced. But what is this? A belly button ring. This is his way of telling me he's gonna take me to go get my belly button pierced. Do I even still want my belly button pierced? I really don't know. I'm very terrified of pain. I really have to go do it now. My third present from Marvin apparently just hasn't arrived yet. We'll see what that is when it comes and I'll let y'all know. My final gifts were from my parents. Yeah, just a simple purse. Cause you know I love purses. Inside the gift, this was the first thing. The next thing is just this cute little Victoria's Secret roll-on perfume. Just like an on-the-go accessory for my purse. So I love watching Grey's Anatomy and a lot of other shows. And I tend to watch my shows in the shower because I binge watch non-stop, no time off, no breaks. So they got me a Bluetooth water speaker. Now I just need a waterproof case for my entire laptop and phone so I can watch the TV for real. Or waterproof TV, whichever comes first. I like to cook. I'm not the best cook in the world, but I'm trying. It is only a little crisp. A little cute thing my mom got me was a two-person plan with three delivered meals, including shipping. So basically what this means is they prepaid all of this for me already. On the day that I want, they'll send me all the ingredients, the meat, the spices, everything that I need for like gourmet recipes. I have three times to do this so I get to go online and pick which meal I want. So you know some cooking with Milan's are gonna be coming out of this. And then finally, I really wanted a nice either gold or rose gold watch. My parents didn't know which watch I wanted. So instead, I got a nice bill with a letter inside the little pamphlet saying, take this hundred dollars and buy yourself a watch. So happy holidays to anybody who Ding. celebrates. And if you don't, keep living. And... Ding! Bruh, keep going, bro. <laughs> bro, let's go, bro. Right now, hurry up. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year.